Okay, today we have some old USA stamps. Now this one here is the most interesting one out of this one. It's U.S. Entrance Revenue, Inter Revenue, but it's the date. It's November 13th and it looks like 1885 if you look closely at it. See the one, the eight, and it looks like another eight and a five right underneath the 13th. All right, so that looks like the most interesting one. I hope you think so too. But let me show you what else we have in this video. Okay, first we have the two postage due. We have the three, if you notice, it's a deeper uh, red kind of burgundy look. And then we have the five. And here we have the one cent, stamped IR on it. Another one cent. We have a two cents. And another two cents. Just different design on it, if you notice. Okay. And off to the second one. Is a three. Kind of like a faded purple, maybe a little bit on the black side, depending on how you look at it. Okay, and then a one. And of course, the interesting one we had at the very beginning. And a two cent. Look at the sideburns, huh? Another two cent. Well, it's a half cent, not a two cent. This one's a half a cent. And a four. And a five. And we have a six cents. have the wings and everything and then an airplane with a stamp on it. That makes it kind of unique really. Airmail. They use an airplane. Stamp right on it to show that it's been used. Okay, then we have this three cent beautiful train. Look at that. Real transportation. Celebration of us 125 years. Really nice one. And a 17 cent. And 8 cents. And a 7 cents. Then we go to some documents. Here's a one document, one dollar document. We have a one cent document. Can you imagine have a document just for one cent? Nicely designed. Okay, this one's a, also a document. 50 cents. Stock transfer. But way back then, 50 cents was a lot of money. Has U.S. in the upper corners. The left upper is a U. The right upper is a S. And the I at the bottom left and an R at the right bottom. This one too has that. It's a 10 cent one. Document. All right, so some pretty cool little document ones there. But of course, the stamp that I think is the most interesting out of this one is this one right here. So be sure to sub me, join me as a friend as we travel around the world through vintage and rare postage stamps. Bye-bye now.